ever wonder what happens when you disappear in plain sight with the help of the federal government? Tonight, a rare insider's look at the Witness Protection Program. How a child whisked away from her home in the dark of the night is now shining a light on a world shrouded in secrecy. Here's Aditi Roy. I remember being woke up by my mom. It was the middle of the night and the marshals were trying to hurry, 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 and we were all crying. Just taken in the middle of the night? Yeah, it was pretty scary. Jackie Taylor was just seven years old when she and her family entered the Federal Witness Security Program, commonly called Witness Protection, or WITSEC. We were ushered into black vans, and I remember stopping and switching vans. It's a program shrouded in secrecy, run by the U.S. Marshal Service. Witnesses in danger are protected, relocated, and given new identities in exchange for turning state's evidence against organized crime, cartels, or terrorist organizations. Your new identity, relocation. Most of what people know step. about it, based on Hollywood depictions, like the movie Eraser. But where Jackie and her family landed was far from Hollywood. I was right up there. Here in a motel next to a casino in Billings, Montana. Not exactly the best place to put a mother and her three children to start their lives over again. There's no new car. There's no new house. This is your new reality. Most of the more than 18,000 people in witness protection are not witnesses, but actually family members of witnesses. Many of them innocent bystanders caught in the middle. Daddy, love you. Some of them mere children, like Jackie, shown here in this rare footage. Her father was Clarence Butch Crouch, a vice president of one of the most infamous Hells Angels chapters in the country. Cleveland, Ohio, in the violent 1970s. He took a plea deal on a murder charge and turned state's evidence against his fellow bikers. Butch is a federally protected witness. From behind a screen for the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee, Butch describes unbridled violence. We pulled up and stopped and the machine gun opened up and I started shooting and I hit somebody. So you beat Tim. After nearly two years of testifying before going to prison, farewell kisses. But he would never come home to Jackie again. Jackie and her family, still in witness protection, left to pick up the pieces. I had nobody to talk to. We were completely cut off from all of our family in Cleveland. Now I didn't have them, and I had this new life that I had to adjust to. Mm -hmm. What was the lowest point for you? Really not knowing who the heck I am. I was suicidal quite a few times. After a difficult childhood, Jackie thinks she never should have been put in WITSEC to begin with. I don't think children should be put on the program, period. I think that they should either be put with family or almost they'd be better off in foster care. I really do. Individuals entering into the witness security program, their parents are in danger. The children are therefore in danger. That's Michael Prout, head of the WITSEC program, who granted us a rare on-camera interview. While he could not confirm nor deny anyone's existence in WITSEC, he did say kids are better off in the program. We are actually the heroes that come in the night and save them from that bad spot. There are opportunities which we afford in the witness security program that they would not get by growing up in a terrorist organization or mafia or a cartel. They have an opportunity to live. Jackie says the marshals gave her documents to support her new identity, with the exception of one that most people take for granted. We were never issued birth certificates. That's not part of the program. It's not part of the program. I will never have a birth certificate. So when her WITSEC given passport was lost, Jackie had no way to prove her U.S. citizenship. And one day she received this in the mail. This is denying my children medical coverage because I couldn't supply a birth certificate. Jackie's citizenship does not exist. She says after exhausting all options, she decides to essentially walk away from the program and go public with her story, putting herself at possible risk. And you didn't fear for your life? I couldn't. My children are suffering because of it, so no, I had no fear at all. Five years later, Jackie says she finally received her replacement passport from the marshals. Why might it take so long to get a needed document? In general, the, the witness security program endeavors to provide swift service to its participants. Jackie's incredible story, now even part of an upcoming documentary by Rumor. It doesn't even look like anybody's there. 
And after getting her passport, Jackie makes amends with that Hells Angels chapter her dad testified against. She learned she had nothing to fear. He's like, you never had anything to worry about. When I read your article, it inspired me a little. But an unexpected result of Jackie going public? Other children of witness protection reaching out to her through Facebook for help and guidance. One of them is CJ. He says his family entered with SEC when he was 11 years old. We weren't going through schools. We were living in motels. So they left the program when CJ was 14, but he says he was too young to realize Witsek had changed his name and social security number back to the one he was born with. And now his multiple identities continue to haunt him to this day. Who are you? Christopher James Crawford. Is that what the government recognizes you as? I believe so, but not the U.S. Marshals. He's facing an array of issues. He has no driver's license because uh, PennDOT has flagged him as a fraud suspect. He uh, can't get student loans. Um, he can't apply for housing. Anything that he has to use his identity for, he's going to have problems with. <laughs> At 38 years old, CJ is still dependent on a family member and lives at home. I worry for his mental health as, as a human being. I just don't want him to go too far into a dark place. I've seen suicides on the witness protection program. There's two that I can document. There's just so much opportunity here for you. Determined to help CJ, Jackie flies out to Pennsylvania and they drive back across the country to Montana. She hopes to convince him to move to Billings so she can help him. We're like a two-man support group. You don't even have a driver's license. And to me, that's just crazy, crazy talk. One of the issues they bond over, how they say neither were offered counseling by the Marshal Service when they were children. It turns out two years after Jackie entered WITSEC, the program was reformed to ensure members are given psychological support if they ask for it. Psychological support is critical. A child of a person who is a criminal, they have certain issues before they even get started. Did you get any counseling from anywhere? No, we didn't. Even though they were placed into WITSEC years after that reform, CJ and his family say they were never offered therapy. But there's like hills all the way behind as far as your eye can see. Why are you so invested in his future? He's in the same position that I was in and mine was rectified and I believe that there is a way to rectify his also. So I say that we should call real quick. CJ is about to make a call to a secret number. I was just trying to touch base with you, man, and then uh... A direct line to his case agent, who CJ says is still assigned to him, despite having left the WITSEC program decades ago. Okay. But CJ says on this occasion, he doesn't get anywhere. He's just in this horrible cycle that he just can't get out of. It pisses me off. It really pisses me off. He says he has to look at the file and, and, and get back in touch with me. A few weeks after his Montana trip, CJ's back in Pennsylvania, heading to the federal courthouse in Pittsburgh. Looking for a, a criminal case number. Jackie has advised him to try to find court documents proving his family was in witness protection. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. That his multiple identities are not somehow his own fault. He finally comes across the needle in the haystack. It says right here that my family was in the witness protection program and our names were changed, and, but this will definitely help out my issues. I'm open. Can I get a couple of these pages copied? He later calls Jackie to tell her the good news. Oh, thank God you finally have that proof on paper. That yeah. is awesome. Shortly after, how cool is this? CJ decides to make the move out to Montana to live with Jackie and her family. The two together fighting to get his life straightened out. For Nightline, I'm Aditi Roy in Billings, Montana.